What's a phrase that shitty people use? Do you know who I am? Like it matters. You made me hit you. Some guy fucked me over at work and I checked him for it. His response, I guess there's a little devil in all of us. I shoulda hit him. It's just a prank, bro. Do you know who my dad is? Only God can judge. Now bitch I'm judging you pretty hard. It's my truth. We work hard and we play hard we are constantly stressed and everyone's an alcoholic. If you can't handle me at my worst, you don't deserve me at my best. You're an inspiration you're so inspiring to disabled and or chronically ill people just trying to live their dang lives. I can't help it, I'm a insert star sign. I'm just brutally honest and tell it like it is. It's always used by people who primarily enjoy the brutal part. They are never being brutally honest about how good someone is at something. It's always an excuse to be an asshole. I'm just being honest. It was just a joke, don't be so dramatic. Acting all high and mighty in an argument thinking that they don't need to provide actual arguments to prove their point, and then when they realize they're losing say do some self-reflection and stop responding. I'm an alpha male. Everyone cheats. I know Sharon. It's just your skanky ass. Sorry, not sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you after the 100th time doing the hurtful action. Only people who can't afford it ask the price. Having worked for quite a few multimillionaires over the years, I can assure you every one of them always asks the price. That's how they got rich, they always haggle and they always ask the price. Finding a close friend that committed suicide. Oh just get over it. Took the coward's way out. Never spoke to that person again. Years later didn't go to their funeral. Fuck them. I pity anyone finding someone that killed themselves. Very difficult to get over. Took a long for me. Then realized I couldn't do anything for them. Didn't know they were hurting inside. Peace to everyone. This is gonna hurt me more than it'll hurt you. Lighten up, I was just joking. We're out of toilet paper. If she's old enough to bleed, she's old enough to breed. Sorry, not sorry. It's just such a condescending phrase that only shitty people say it. It was just a joke. No, you were being mean, just got called on it, and don't have the spine they admit to your own actions. Partner of my ex's best friend was a self-described alpha girl. Nah. She was just kind of rude and boring. Anything regarding how they hustle. It's just business. Tells me everything about the business you run. Just saying. In my book that's how it works, that's what the rules are. Edit this is for the grammar police under my comment in my book, that's how it works or in my book, that's what the rules are. No offense, but. Educate yourself. Only God can judge me. OMG, that's so autistic, I'm OCDing, and similar phrases. We're a family here at XYZ Company. No, you pay me. My family is my family. Get over it. As an empath. No, you're just a narcissist that doesn't understand that mostly everyone is able to feel empathy. I'm just old-fashioned if you're choosing not to learn anything new, you will be left behind by the world. I'm a 10. You're literally perfect. But that's the way we've always done it. I'm sorry if you feel that way. I shouldn't have to ask. Yeah, for some things. You don't get to apply that to your entire life. I found this very common with the boomer generation. Boys will be boys. I don't take shit from anyone or for no time for other people's bullshit. 
for never met someone who brands themselves like this who wasn't an almighty CT. Im so OCD or im so ADHD. Builds character. This is how it's gonna be. Unpopular opinion but happy wife, happy life. The customer is always right. The fuck they are. 20 years of customer service and the people who pull out this gem are the people who are not right. B knows they're in the wrong and C are trying to bully the CS person into getting what they want. It immediately makes me see red. Customers are important to any business and you should try reasonable measures to retain existing customers, but not only are they not always right, bending over backwards to retain bad customers often drives off good ones, and teaches bad ones that poor behavior is rewarded. Relax, it's just a joke, you need to calm down. I'm not homophobic, but. You're too sensitive. Do as I say, not as I do. I heard it said once to a child. Some of the most disgusting things I ever heard. You just need to smile more, you'll feel better. You know depression is just imaginary, you just gotta get out more. You she he they should just get over it, all pronouns will be happier then. Reading doesn't count as being busy. Snitches get stitches. Boys will be boys. You're feeling bad about something? This person over here has something much worse going on. Thanks, dickhead, I now feel worse because you've added guilt to the mix. We treat our employees like family we're a family here. So you expect the people you pay to put up with your dysfunction, petty grudges, and irrational moods. Cool cool. I'm opting out. I'm a type A personality. You're an asshole, rigid, and can't accept change, and you think that's a star quality rather than a problem. YOLO. Basically any political slogan regardless of affiliation. Blood is thicker than water. Hate the game, don't hate the player. She's a queen waiting for her king to build a dynasty. Because I'm a shitty person as an excuse without actually taking accountability or acknowledging what they did do. I'm praying for you. Guess I'm a horrible parent then usually said after being called out for shitty behavior. Pull yourself up by your bootstraps. I'm being realistic it's the truth though. But someone else's says it to them, they're haters. Lucky you when describing something good happening that a person worked really hard for. Absolutely makes my blood boil. I'm not a racist, but. Long story short. It never is. Break something it was like that before. When you call them out for being shitty, they say I'm sorry you feel that way. Let's go Brandon. Life's not fair. Almost always used by someone treating someone else unfairly, and trying to make excuses for it. You know what you did. No I don't, that's why I'm asking. You don't even know what I did, you just wanna be mad. I am sorry you feel that way. In order to understand why I say this, let's see it the way I do. I am sorry you feel that way. What it's really saying is the person is saying they are sorry, but your feelings are irrational and no one should feel that way but you do apparently, and they are sorry you are feeling the wrong thing, and that your emotions are invalid with literally everything because you don't know what to feel about things but everyone else does. Have you let Jesus into your life? You are overthinking it. Also, using any straw man argument. Man up. I'm offended. You can't say that to me. And my personal favorite. I raised gave birth to made you, have you no shame? Nope I didn't ask for it. You wanted children. If you just wanted people to take care of you, and not kids, then find a nursing home and fuck off. I'm sorry you feel that way. No ownership over their shitty actions. Do your own research.